Lansing Mayor Virg Bernero is reconnected now. He's a man on the move, I'm sure. Who knows where that c cell signal is trying to get to? Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Good morning, Michael Patrick. How are you doing? Good. I'm looking at this headline in the Detroit News this morning from Mark Hornbeck talking about you working to make up ground. I, I don't know uh, what math he's looking at, but it looks to me like if you're talking about endorsements from uh, various labor groups, the Michigan Nurses Association, you name it, you've got a pretty nice pile stacked up there, don't you? Well, thank you. That's exactly right. Working people are on our side. There's more of us than there is of them, and uh, we're going to get this done. I mean, you know, most conventional politicians look at uh, conventional politicians and pundits, uh, journalists look at polls. They look at polls, and and the polls show that the vast majority of people are still undecided. Uh, so we've got to get our message out. But I think what what's happening is, as people get to know me, as people get to know Andy Dillon, uh, they're coming my way. I'm on the side of working people. He's on the side of corporate interests. That's what the record shows. He's the speaker of the mess. He has not gotten results for the state of Michigan. We have one of the worst economies in history. Uh, they have not produced. They, their budgets are unbalanced. I've balanced five budgets in a row with no tax increase. I got the job done. I have more police on the streets today than when I first took office. We're funding the things that matter. We're where the rubber hits the road as mayor of Lansing. And I'm proud to have announced yesterday 35 mayors from around the state endorsed my candidacy because they know. And that endorsement means a great deal. These are people on the front lines taking care of business for their cities, whether that means answering 911 calls, filling potholes, uh, you know, picking up the garbage. It's mayors on the front lines to get the job done, and I can get the job done for the state of Michigan as governor. Uh, well, hey, mayors know a little something about leadership, don't they? I mean, they're the man right out front. Uh, they are the one that uh, take the bullets when things don't go well. They are the ones who, uh, you know, have to work with the city council as well. You got it. And as you know, Michael Patrick, we've had uh, great investment. Even in this tough economy, Lansing has cranes in the air. We've had $500 million in new investment. We've diversified our economy. We have high-tech, bioscience, IT, uh, insurance, advanced manufacturing. Most importantly, Michael Patrick, you know my obsession with manufacturing. Yeah. We've, we made the things that make America great, and we, we have to put the P in GDP. If we don't make something, our economy goes to dust. Our economy is built on manufacturing, whether it's the service economy, the infrastructure, Information economy, you got to make something. And in Lansing, as you know, we're competing for one of the most exciting expansions around the state and country in North America. We, we're competing for a $190 million expansion of General Motors, 600 new jobs in manufacturing, and I think we're going to get that. And, uh, and what, we're, what we're doing here in Lansing can be done in the state of Michigan. We've laid out the red carpet instead of the red tape for business. We got the job done. And I've proven that you can be both pro-labor and pro-business. It's not one or the other. The fact of the matter is, if, if you're all one way or all the other, you know, what you get is Wall Street. You know, these, these, some of these folks that claim to be pro-business, they're pro-Wall Street. You know, that, and that's Andy Dillon's record, uh, busting unions, breaking up companies, dismembering them, sending them overseas, outsourcing. That's not a strategy for growth. That may help a few people at the top get rich. That doesn't help the whole economy. We, we, we do best when everybody wins together, when the worker makes money and the folks at the top, of course, make money. I have no problem with people getting rich, but let's, let's continue to be the land of opportunity. In the last minute that we have, are you more of a traditional Democrat than Andy Dillon? Well, no question, no question. I'm the only pro-choice, pro-stem cell candidate in the race. You know, embryonic stem cell, stem cell research offers so much hope for diseases, uh, the, the things that they're coming up with. And otherwise, you know, a lot of these cells would just be wasted. Uh, and and uh, I think that women have the right to choose. I think that's very important. The governor has had to be the firewall on some of the anti-choice legislation that comes through. It's absolutely crucial. And standing up for working people, it's what I've done my whole life. My dad came here from Italy with two nickels to rub together. He's an example of the American dream. I'm the youngest of five kids. I want that opportunity for my kids and for all children throughout Michigan. That's what I'm fighting for. This is ground zero in the struggle to keep up the American dream in Michigan. 19 days till the primary. Uh, thanks for the time. I know every second counts when you get this close.